Well, good morning, my friends. Jerome Powell, Jordan the Lion, and we are here in Venice, Italy. And today what we're gonna do is go check out something called the Flight of the Eagle in Piazza San Marco. So let's go have a great day. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. That's not the only thing we're gonna do today. We have quite a few things we're gonna do, but that's the start of the day. I think I'll follow them. What do you say? And you are gonna love what Flight of the Eagle is. I guess it's a tradition around here. Someone is going to do a demonstration from the bell tower to the stage. And he's a pretty well-known skier, apparently. Trampolines in the plaza. Yep, the fun never stops here. There's a little lion. A lot of people out today. I decided not to wear my mask today because it muffles too much of my narration. They get so many people out here, they have to have everybody go in a single direction. So you basically have to walk all the way around everything to get back to the start. You can only go one way. See up there, you can see the cables coming down. He's gonna be coming from right up here and down that way. gonna have a flag so you can see him he's popping out of there right now here he comes they're bringing him down on a virtual ski ride basically is how they view it some eagle <laughs> apparently they have like a big a big ski thing and that's what that flags for it's like an announcement it's after the 2026 olympics he's got he's wearing a heart <laughs> all right i've moved locations now now he's over here coming towards the stage had to stop and see this though wow it's taking him about five minutes to make his way down anyway. That looks like a KISS concert. And he started from all the way up there. Wow, look at that. Look at the lions. Decided to stop off and have a little coffee. Then we're gonna head over to Marco Polo's house. And maybe a little spaghetti carbonara. Got to, don't ya? It's like one of the best dishes ever created. All right, that was great. Now let's head off to the man who wrote the tales of the Silk Road, the home of Marco Polo. I just ended up in this plaza. Take a look at this. 
the scarlet and gold flag up there. One thing I really like about traveling Venice is that you always feel lost, but you're never really lost because everything kind of connects. Look at this. That is beautiful up there. Oh, we're definitely close. Very fitting. So here it is, nothing too flashy, but it was this famous explorer, adventurer, writer who in the late 1200s and early 1300s basically made his name by documenting his explorations and his merchant trading with um, the Eastern world up the Silk Road. So he was basically the way that people here in Italy were able to find out about what life was like and Japan and China and far away. Surprisingly, it's not a museum, but you do see it. They have a plaque here stating that it was the Casa di Marco Polo. Now he even has a children's game named after him. So now I was thinking we should go check out the home, the 30 year home of Peggy Guggenheim, the Guggenheim Museum. But first, let's admire the chocolate. That's enough. This is such a fun time of the year to be here. Take a look at this beautiful church. Get a spritz on the way. I realized I didn't show it to you guys yesterday. That is the Afro spritz. And if you're also wondering why I didn't show who won the costume contest, is because um, at the end of my video they said, "Come back tomorrow evening when we reveal the winner." <laughs> so they didn't announce it. Yeah, you know, it's so cool about this city of Venice is that it was all a collection of like hundreds of islands that they all of a sudden started boarding together and kind of created it to be what it is now and they say it's a sinking city because it literally is sinking. All right, we're on the boat. So no joke, when I was buying the ticket and asking to go to the Guggenheim, they said, well, we're not actually sure if it's open because we've now had a coronavirus scare and um, we don't really have any word if they've closed the museum or if it's still open. So we're gonna give it a try because this was actually her house for 30 years. So I wanna go see it anyway. I'm 
пошло. Я кого на нее That is where we are going. Higgy Guggenheim collection right there. Perfect timing boat. So Peggy Guggenheim was a really interesting person actually because her father ended up going down with the Titanic in 1912 and her uh, uncle was Solomon Guggenheim who was responsible for the Guggenheim in New York. But Peggy was basically a socialite who um, developed a love for art and started collecting art and then started supporting artists like um, she was one of the early um, champions of Jackson Pollock and help support him and so her collection here is um, kind of a wide array of artists from various times but hopefully it'll be open and we can check it out and not just see the house but the house is important too because as she collected all this stuff I believe it was like once a year she would open her house up for basically to turn it into like an art gallery for a short time. So the Guggenheim house is, you know, the reason that we had to take a boat is because it's on a different island that they have public transportation boats that take you to. I think it's right over here. Awesome. <laughs> So that's very unfortunate. It looks like it is indeed closed. They have a notice up here saying that they're closing it for the virus scare. That's unfortunate. That's all right, I'm coming back this summer, so we'll check it out then. Here from across the canal, you can see her house is back here. Then over here, they have another entrance. And look at the door. The door even is a piece of art. The entrance into it, look at that. I'm glad we got a little bit of footage of the outside of the house. That was kind of mainly what I was coming to see. I love the idea of someone who has wealth beyond measure deciding that they want to live way off grid here in Venice. But there is art all over the city to check out. Take a look at that arrow going through all those books. That's amazing. Look at that. That's so cool, that effect. Like once it pierces the books, it turns into water. I really like this one. Look at the lips. Look at these wooden sculptures. That's like a bag with paintbrushes coming out of it. Then these are shorts hanging on a line made out of wood. <sighs> Interesting. Those are both tin tin. So we're gonna hop back on the boat and we're gonna go over and see where Marco Polo is laid to rest. Here's our boat. We'll get another look at the Guggenheim house when we pass by it right over here. You can see those horses up there on the front.
Isn't that amazing? So I ate across from there the other day when you saw it in the vlog. That has a wicked lean to it. <laughs> no matter which side you're on, that tower leans pretty hard. Wow, I didn't know that was here, the Vivaldi Museum. Marco, Polo, like a maze back here. It was not easy to find, but that is it right there. That's the church we're looking for. That is the Church of San Lorenzo, but your guess is probably as good as mine. Looking like there may not be access to it today everything that's recently happened. Huh, well, beyond there is where Marco Polo is buried. I'll go around and see if there's another side to enter. Honest to God, I definitely did not envision running into this problem while I was here, but I'm glad that at least the previous video to this one, we got a lot of cool footage from um, the festival, the carnival and everything. I wanted at least one good one and everything else was just gonna be, you know, a little added plus, so. <laughs> well, bummer. Doesn't look like we'll get in there this time. But what a view, right? Oh no, that's interesting. It's like a family of rabbits living up there. Well, my friends, thank you for watching today. I hope you all enjoyed our day. I do know what we're gonna do in our next vlog, and I don't think that there's any chance that we won't get to do it, but should make the rest of our trip kind of interesting with what's going on around here. Have a great night. We'll see you all later. Goodbye.